Hi, this is Mr. Ford from MrFordsClass.com, and in this presentation I'm going to show you how to convert normal base 10 numbers, that's the numbers that we're used to, that were taught from kindergarten on through school, to a binary format. Now, depending on how you learn this, if you look in textbooks, I find it to be very complicated, very, very not user-friendly. This is a very easy way to be able to convert between the two. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps you out. The first thing you have to do is create your table. You start with your numbers up top, and then you draw your little lines down. We start with the number 1, and then we double it. So 1 plus 1 is 2, double 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 16 is 32, 32 plus 32 is 64, 64 doubled is 128, 128 plus 128 is 256, and 256 plus 256 is 512. Now you might be recognizing some of these numbers like 128, 256, and 512 as also being the size of memory, RAM sticks. This is not a coincidence. Remember, the computer works via binary. And this is how we count in binary, which is also how memory sticks are, are uh, rated. Okay? So let's actually do some conversion here. If I want to have the number 32, what I do is I look for the number that will go into it. Meaning, which of these numbers will go into 32? Well, in our case, 32 will go into the number 32. So we put a 1 here, and then we put zeros at the end part, because none of these other numbers are needed. Okay? Now let's say I want the number 5. Well, can this go into 5? No. 256? No. Blah, 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 blah. The first number that can go into 5 is the number 4. So I put a 1 here, because 4 goes into 5. So we have 5, we put a 4 in there, we have 1 left. Can 2 go into 1? No, so we put a 0. Can 1 go into 1? Yes. So we have a 4 and a 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. I'll show you that in a different way. Let's say I want the number 10. Which number is the first number that can go into 10? Well, 16 can't, but 8 can. So 8 into 10, what do we have? 8, 9, 10. We have two left that we have to put in somewhere. Can four go into two? No. Can two go into two? Yes, we're left with zero. So for the number 10, it's one, zero, one, zero in binary. Let's go with a harder number. Let's say we want to go with the number 63. Can 64 go into 63? No. So there's nothing there. Can 30 go? 32 go into 63? Yes. Now, here's a little helpful hint. We could do the math. We could do 63 minus 32 minus blah, 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 blah. But there's an easier way to do this. 63 is the number right before 64. Which means that everything beforehand added up will equal that number. So 63, 1 at the 32, 1 at 16, 1 at 8, 1 at 4, 1 at 2, 1 at 1. This added up will equal 63. Because if we wanted 64, we put the 1 here and the zeros back here. So everything added up is going to be 63. So once again, in case I made that as clear as mud, if you want the number right before your big category, let's say I want 127, it would be everything checked from here over. If I wanted 255, it would be everything here over. Let's try one more. Let's say I want the number 7. Let me show you how this works. If I want the number 7, well, 8 doesn't go into 7, but 4 does. 4, 5, 6, 7. Does 2 go into 3? Yes. So I have 3, I just took away 2, I'm up to 1. Does 1 go into 1? Yes. So, so 7 is the number right before 8, so all those are checked. Hope this helps you out. This is not that hard if you set up your table. 
and remember, you don't have to memorize the numbers up here. Just know how they work. You start at 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 16 is 32. At nauseum. And you can go pretty much to infinity here with your numbers. So I hope this helps. This is not everything you need to know about binary out there, but it is a good beginning, a good grounding level, so you can build off this knowledge.